Mango, Mango! What are you on about? Oh, it's my safe word. Mm. Are you always this clever? Uh, I have my moments. Yes. You and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Shame we're not on the same side. Hey, there's, there's still time. Trust a trick. Mm. I'm not falling for that again. Hey, hey, just, just let's talk about this. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit rougher than expected. I'll just uh, see myself out. After everything, you think I'm just going to let you walk away? That'd be the wise thing to do. Come on, Nadine, really? We know you're a badass and all, but there's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. 
all I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. God damn it. Go! <laughs> Fast, but you're not that fast. Hey, forget about her. Come on, we gotta get out of here before they. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa! Everybody, just, just calm down, okay? Well, this is interesting. Nate, Samuel, put your guns down, all of you. No. Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. You wanted to bet her life on that? Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. I die, you both die. Oh, so be it. Not another step! You mean... like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! Rafe! It's done! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. It's done. Okay? It's done. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not their style. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> Samuel. You okay? I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Hey! <laughs> Come on, man. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on now, you're a businessman. Let's just, just work out a deal. Oh, a deal? Oh, yeah. I'd love to hear what you have in mind. <coughs> oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. I just... I... Uh, you want to find Avery's treasure? We'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live? Yeah. That and a small cut. The gauchos on this guy. Just enough to get him his freedom, okay? His freedom? Nathan. Yeah. He did hard time. Our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Whoa. What the hell are you talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. I'm the one that got Samuel out. Oh. Wow. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar? Really? You lied? You lied to your baby brother? We're wasting time! Just a second. Thing is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just kept running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake, an authority on Avery, is alive, and somewhat well. There was no breakout. I bribed the prison warden, and your brother, he just waltzed right out the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down a second St. Dismas Cross. You know what? He did it all with me. Oh, no. Okay. No, that's bullshit. Oh. Sam, care to refute? Nate. Oh, Sam. Jesus, no, no. Listen, Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my life for you. I... <laughs> hey, 
Hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He pulled a Houdini on me, he brought you and that old man back into the mix. And I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But, <clears throat> all behind us now. You don't deserve it. You do? Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? What? One way or another, end it. Or I will. Well, you heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue, and you can kiss that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself. Keep running into dead ends. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. Yeah, you're right. You're half right. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, you don't, don't, don't listen. Nate! Hey, Nate! Ah, there it is. Who the hell lives here anyway? I have no idea. But this is definitely the address. I've been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. Here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. <laughs> and then we can take the grand tour. You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't go breaking the window. Hey. All right. Let's look around back, huh? Hey, Nathan, look. It's an open window. Oh, yeah. Here, follow me. Okay, give me your hand. Come on, Nathan. Whoa. <laughs> Spooky. Oh, here. I brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? Nope. It's not gonna be in this attic. The boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment.
That'll do. Down we go. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. These boxes remind you of anything? Every place we ever lived. Exactly. I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just gonna move again in a month. Yep. Always the asshole. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah, it's probably a knockoff of some kind. Yeah, of course it is, right? Right. <laughs> Budge! Here, let's do it together. You ready? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Hmm. Sam. This is real. What is this place? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> Hey, do me a favor. When I die, bury me in one of these. Sure. Can I mummify you and put your organs in a jar too? On second thought, maybe not. Recognize that one? Uh, I, I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah, husband and wife, buried together. It's kind of dark, and like in an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. Here's another one. <sighs> nope. I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer-dryer combo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was the funny one. Always was. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston, come on! <laughs> <laughs> no.
Nice. Fertility totems. Hey, aren't you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Aren't you a little old to be making that joke? Eh, never too old. Whoa. Horns of Arabia. Always wanted to see that flick. Never got around to it, though. Hey, check out this crazy demon helmet. Is that a Viking helmet? Come on. You know Viking helmets don't have horns? It's Persian. Wow, this table is as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn, they must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah, looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. Hey. Maybe you don't go waving your flashlight around the windows too much? Jousting armor. Looks French. Locked. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. Hey, the air vent up there. Is that a letter? What's left of it? Someone wanted to buy their stuff. Guess they said no. Are you ready? Oh, oops. It's a Polaroid. Let me see. Still works. Yeah. Come here. Now smile, all right? <laughs> Don't lose it. Okay, up here. Hey, don't fall.
Check this out. Damn it. Journals about everything in the world, but nothing from Mom. It's a big house. Don't give up yet. Oh, wow. They knew Amelia Earhart? No kidding. Man, they knew all the cool people. Liven up the place. <laughs> Since when do you like classical music? Excuse me, I am a man of many tastes. What? You didn't like that? <laughs> 